you may remember that the uh, dysplastic changes in the cervix are often referred to as C for cervix, I-N, and the dysplastic changes within the vulva or vagina are referred to V-I-N, and therefore it would be only fitting that the set of pre-malignant changes in the prostate would be called P-I-N. And I guess that these were all concocted by the in crowd. So let's look at this prostate. And offhand, you may just think that it is hyperplastic. That's because it is. However, the degree of hyperplasia is a little more than usual. And uh, I will describe a couple of features in which uh, are present that you would think that not only is this hyperplasia, but there are some features that make it atypical. And therefore, you might call this intraepithelial neoplasm. In reality, many of these actually go into adenocarcinoma, although if you carefully examine this prostate, there really is no example of frank adenocarcinoma. If there was, you wouldn't call it PIN, you'd call it adenocarcinoma. The first atypical feature is that within these prostate glands, there is kind of a papillary uh, infolding, which uh, happens whenever epithelium proliferates. It proliferates not by itself, but it drags fibrous tissue with it. Another thing you might notice is that there's a little bit more layering here uh, than you usually see. And even though we said that many nucleoli are the uh, common features in prostate cancer, notice these cells, for the most part, do not have real increase in nucleoli. Oh, I'm sure you could see a couple every now and then like you can anywhere. But for the most part, these cells are not nucleolated. If you wanted to be real keen and talk about a little bit of atypia, besides thickening of the layers and besides papillosity, you might do that too. But you could imagine that if these changes were all severe, you would call this high-grade PIN or maybe PIN3. And if they were mild, you would call them low-grade PIN or let's say PIN1. So uh, that's why I thought I would introduce you to the PIN concept, prostate intraepithelial neoplasm in the absence of downright frank prostatic adenocarcinoma. Think of it as atypical hyperplasia. Thank you very much.